Okay, let's talk about evaluating using plus or minus. So look at this equation here. X squared equals 4. We might immediately think, okay, X is 2, right? Because 2 squared equals 4. We know that to be true. But you can't forget about the negative. Because negative 2 squared is also 4. That would also work. So when we see something like this, we're going to have to write the answer as positive or negative 2. We just write it right on top like that, plus over the minus. And we can also read that as plus or minus 2. Because the answer could be positive 2 or it could be negative 2. We don't know what x is, but it's one or the other. Both are correct. Now let's look at this other equation. This one's really easy to look at and we would just know right off the top of our head well, 3 squared gives us to 9, so x must be 3. But let's try to solve this problem algebraically. So look at the x. Think about what's been done to the x. The x has been squared. Now in a problem like this, we took away 2 from the x. And in order to undo that and solve this equation, we'd have to do the opposite of that and add 2. But in an example like this, we didn't add anything to the x, and we didn't multiply anything to the x. We squared the x. And the opposite of squaring a number is taking the square root of a number. So if I take the square root of x squared, I'm just left with 1x. But anything I do to the left side of the equation, I also have to do to the right. So I would square this side, and I would get 3 because 3 is the square root of 9, which is the same answer that we had before. But remember, if I plug 3 back into my equation, 3 squared, I do get 9. But I can't forget about that negative. Because if I square a negative 3, I also get 9. So my answer isn't just x equals 3, it's x equals plus or minus 3. Now if I had something like this, x cubed equals 8, my answer would just be a positive 2. Not plus or minus 2. Let's think about it. If I plugged in 2 to this equation, it would be 2 cubed. That does equal 8. But if I plugged in a negative 2, that would be a negative 8. I'd get a different answer than I got in this statement here. So when the exponent is an odd number, I don't have to think about the plus or minus. But when that exponent is an even number, you have to make sure you remember that plus or minus. Now let's try evaluating an equation with the plus or minus in it. The question would look something like this. Negative 2 squared plus negative 3 squared plus or minus the square root of 4. The first term, the negative's on the outside, so I don't square it with the 2. This one would become negative 4. My second term, I square that negative, and it would be a positive 9. But now we're getting into the last term. So I have to keep that plus or minus there. And I know that the square root of 4 is 2. Now let's just keep solving left to right. So negative 4 plus 9 is 5 plus or minus 2. So I'm going to have two answers to this equation. Answer 1, I'll add them, 5 plus 2, and get 7. Answer 2, I'll subtract them, 5 minus 2, and get 3. So I have to solve this equation twice. I have to do it once, thinking that maybe my x was positive, And I do it all with the plus sign. And then I have to do it again with the negative. Because we don't know if the answer to the square root of 4 is a positive or a negative. So we have to solve for both. So I would just write my answer like this, 7, 3. And both answers are equally correct.